Hey guys, this is Melody, and today we're working on the letter E. I had a few suggestions. Um, I got a lot for elephant, but I've already done an elephant piece before, and I really wanted to try to draw something that I had never drawn before. That was kind of the whole reason I started this. Um, I also got an earwig as a suggestion, which I did do a sketch of, uh, but that was not my final choice. In the end, I decided to go with an eagle. Unfortunately, when I tried to take a short video of my sketchbook, uh, the footage wouldn't transfer onto my computer. I don't know why, but if you check Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc., I will probably post the sketches on there and you can see how it originally came out. I did also sketch an emu, which I think he looked pretty cute in the sketch, but the eagle, I just really wanted to do for this piece. Also, do you like my eraser? It's the sorting hat from Harry Potter. I think I found it a few months ago at Hot Topic. It came with that and then a Hogwarts seal and there was something else. I, I don't remember what, but I, I thought they were cute and it was only like two dollars for all three of them. So I figured not. Even if they're not great erasers, they're kind of fun to have around. They erase okay. The red pencil that I sketch with, it generally just doesn't erase super well, but uh, it's fun to have strange erasers around sometimes, I guess. So the flowers that you see me painting, this one right here is an echinacea flower. Um, I had never really heard or seen of them before, but they're quite pretty. The next one is like a bright yellow flower, and I have no idea how to pronounce it. Um, I think it looks something like El Scampane. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I also added some English ivy in for leaves. Um, there wasn't a whole lot in the way of plants that started with E, unless I wanted something that was an English lavender or an English something rather. So I just gave in and did some ivy. A lot of the plants seemed to be purple or yellow, and I just wanted some bright colors. So I chose one that was bright yellow and one that was pink and then some leaves, and I called that good. So for the head of this eagle, I have some problems when I was first sketching it in the sketchbook with how much brown to put in the 
and feathers on the head. I know it would have maybe made more sense to use like a gray shadow for the feathers, but I thought the brown just kind of went better with the whole image. Um, just with the flowers and everything, I, brown isn't as harsh as black. So I wanted to use that. And if you think about the younger eagles, um, a lot of times they do have brown feathers. So I guess it, it kind of makes sense. If you think the younger eagle, not all of the feathers on its head have white gone white yet. Uh, so I, I stuck with brown, but initially I had so much brown that it it's hard to tell that it was so white so I was trying to use a lot of the white for the paper in this one instead of adding too much brown and I think I did okay but I maybe could have added a little bit more also you'll notice the eagle is holding a flower in its mouth I just thought it might be nice to have it interacting with its surroundings um, even though it's not like a natural piece it's not like in the wilderness or anything but I just thought it was kind of cute to have them holding a flower. Um, the leaf that I am painting right now, I had some issues with. At first I just started off with a straight color instead of mixing a color, which I probably should have done because it was definitely way too bright. So I ended up mixing it with some darker like green, brown, and I got it closer to the right color, but I, I don't think I ever got it quite right. I also initially had problems with the shadows on it, it just looked really awkward. So it ended up being a darker really than I intended because I ended up just going over it with a whole other coat of paint to try to cover that up and then trying to add a little more shadows later. So here you can see my hand had gotten in wet paint. I guess I was being a little impatient and lining when I should have waited for the paint to fully dry. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what my hand got in, probably some of the brown near the eye and it got it inside of the eye. So I went in with a paintbrush and tried to kind of fix it. Like, I mean, you can't erase it, but I tried to kind of get it wet and dab it out with a paper towel. It worked a little bit, but not, not really. That's pretty much it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see for the letter F. I will see you guys in the next video.